What's up, ballers? We are here with a new series for NBA Live Mobile. This is going to be the Ultimate Pack Tournament. So you guys know I'm boycotting bundles right now because they're not worth it for so many different reasons. But there are actually a few different packs that you can buy in the store that, in my opinion, are actually worth it. Because right now, my sponsor is having a crazy sale on coins. 74 cents per million coins. You know how many packs you can buy with that. Totally worth it. Go check them out and use the code Bobby at checkout for that. But this is going to be epic because we can get so many coins for cheap. There were some people that were saying that they weren't getting their coins. So I went to the website and tested it out. I bought coins, went and took a shower, and then when I came back, I already had my coins. So as long as you follow their direction, it's all good, guys. Don't worry about it. Before we hop into how this tournament is going to work, we do have a couple announcements. First, we have our notification squad shoutouts that I'm going to put up there for the first people to comment on our last video. If you want a shot at being in one of those, make sure you subscribe down below and turn on notifications for the channel so that you can be one of the first people to comment on my next video. And also, I've talked to you guys about starting up a new channel for other games that I want to play. I went ahead and did that. The channel's called Bobby Plays. Link to that is going to be down in the description as well. So we're going to be doing notification shoutouts on that channel. And my first video will already be up by the time I post this. Make sure you guys go hit, us, hit the subscribe button over there and comment on that first video for a shot at being one of the first Notification Squad members in those shoutouts. So enough with all the announcements. Today we are starting the Ultimate Pack Tournament. As you guys know, bundles are expensive, but right now coins are cheap and coins can get you packs. So we got five different playstyle packs and we also have three different regular packs so we've got pro packs triple double packs and beginner packs that makes for eight packs which is actually a perfect number for a tournament so we're going to be matching up these different packs against each other opening the same amount for each of them and seeing which of the packs is most worth it which one gives you the best odds we're going to have a scoring system so for the sake of keeping it easy, we're only going to be scoring elites, so 80 to 82s are going to be 1 point, 83s to 85s are going to be 3 points, and 86s are going to be 5 points. Whichever of the packs gets the most points by the end of their million coin pack opening, that's who the winner is going to be, and they will move on to the next round. So for our first matchup, we've got the triple double pack versus the balanced playstyle pack. I opened a bunch of these in a stream the other night. It seems like the playstyle packs are actually the move. I pulled a lot of elites out of there, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So we're going to open these pretty much until we get to 2.226 million coins, or no, 1.226 million coins. Now, obviously, it won't entirely take into account everything that we could possibly get, because some of these are going to have higher chances of pulling, like 78s to 79s, which sell for significantly more. But for simplicity's sake, we are just going to be counting the 80 plus pulls. Especially since an 80 overall, you wouldn't think that it would be that hard to get now since they have decreased the pack odds. It's a little bit tougher to get, but considering the fact... Oh, we got a triple gold in there. Considering the fact that you can buy coins for only 74 cents per million... Opening a million coins worth of these packs is only going to cost me 74 cents. I could really care less. So hopefully we can pull some elite players and maybe some elite coaches. Now that I think of it, I should probably give elite coaches a score as well since that is a possibility. So we'll go ahead and say five points for an elite coach as well. I think those go for quite a bit. And at the end of this, we'll probably be able to do a decent amount of coach exchanges as well. So... Hopefully we can get something good out of there. Nothing good so far out of the balanced playstyle pack. The good thing about these 30,000 coin packs is that the pack openings are going to go a lot quicker. As opposed to... Oh, there we go! We get our first elite Marcus Morris. And that's actually a position improvement. So I'm going to hit update team. And that is one point. Nope! That is the wrong pack. Dang it. Alright, we're going we're gonna to let it count anyways if we get an elite. But we don't. But we get a gold coach. So that was accidentally a shooting playstyle pack. Back to the balance playstyle packs, though. That's what our position, or not our position battle, our pack battle is today. So we've got, I think we're about 500k on the way through. Only one elite so far, but the price of elites has skyrocketed because coins are so cheap right now. 
So hopefully we'll be able to make back a little bit of coinage. I probably need to do a selling my bench video relatively soon because I've got so much stuff on my bench from all these packs that I've been opening recently. Hopefully we can make back a decent amount, although with the current price of coins, I'm not really all that worried about making back coins. Like I said, we started at 2.224 million, I believe. So we've got about 400k left for our balanced playstyle packs and only one elite so far. So it looks like the odds for these are not quite as good as what I experienced on stream the other night. I'm pretty sure for like the first three playstyle packs that I opened, I got an elite in each one of them. So I kind of figured it was going to be that way for all of them, but it looks like the odds have gone significantly down for these. Not that surprised since EA doesn't want you to be able to get anything with coins, only with cash. That's just the way that they do things, but we're still trying to make the game fun, keeping it entertaining, and hopefully they will improve it sometime in the future and uh, we can have a return of all those people that ended up leaving the game. Dang it! Alright, I gotta go to my sets real quick. Okay, I went and threw in all of my silver players into training packs, so hopefully that cleared out a decent amount of room and we get an elite coach right there. Eric Spolstra, that's what I'm talking about. So that's gonna be five points. Alright, that is a big boost from what we were at for the balanced playstyle packs. I don't know if that was like a fair... Uh, point system? I don't know, but it looks like we might have given a little bit too much weight to coaches. I didn't think we were going to pull an elite coach because I opened a lot of these the other night and that did not pull a single elite coach. So it looks like we've got two more packs that we're going to open up and that will be it for the balanced play style packs. One elite player, one elite coach. Here we go with our final pack. And can we finish it off with an elite? No, we can't. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hop on over to the triple-double packs. Opening up a million coins worth of these. Hopefully, we can get some elites out of there, but none to start. That's all right. We've got a long way to go, and of course, I clicked the pro pack when I meant to click the triple-double pack. Total Bobby move right there, but it's all... Oh, wait. Okay. Triple-double packs are not there. That's why they weren't showing up. Okay. Okay. So here we go, got a million coins worth to open for these. Score to beat is six, although now that I think of it, I don't even think I can pull coaches out of here. So I'm not sure whether or not that's going to prove to be a fair scoring system. Uh, but we'll, we'll try it out and just see how many elites we can pull. I haven't seen a lot of people pulling elites out of the triple. Oh! There we go! Like our third or fourth pack, we get an 83 Damian Lillard. That is actually the best elite that I've pulled out of any pack so far. So that is, that's pretty hype. All right, that's what I like to see. So, unfortunately, you know what, I gotta, I gotta change up the scoring a little bit. I think we should give 83s a little bit more weight. So we're gonna say 80 to 81. Yeah, 80 to 81 is one point. 82 to 83 is three points. And 84 to 86 is five points. So that's going to put the triple-double packs already at three points, I think. I'm having a hard time keeping up with my system, but hopefully we make it to a point where it relatively evens out. So we do already have three points. They're going to need another four points for the win. And if it ends up being a tie, then we're actually going to have a tiebreaker based off the best overall card. Pull! Then we get another 83! Bradley Beal, let's go. That's six points already. That's tie game. Wow. All right. So the triple double packs looking nice today. I'm pretty sure I actually have a balanced lineup coach in as well. And now I've actually got the option of adding Eric Spolstra too. So I can choose between him and I believe I have Brad Stevens at the moment. But triple double packs definitely looking like they've got the advantage right now. Now I don't know if that was just straight up pack luck. Or if these are going to be consistently that good. But those are the two best pulls that I've gotten out of... At least that I've gotten out of coin packs since the game started. So, looking pretty nice for the triple double packs. We only need one more elite pull in order to even it out. And actually, now that I think of it, the triple double packs have already won. Because they do have the highest overall pull, which I said would be the tiebreaker. So, right now, we're just ripping these for fun. And we get another one! Let's go! Artist Gilmore... 
That is a nice center, and he's actually got pretty good stats, too. That's what I'm talking about. Now, I do have really good centers in my classic lineup, so I'm probably not going to be using him. But he should sell for a decent amount as well. So the triple-double packs running away with it. Well, I say running away with it because they've already won. They're only up by one point, but they do also have... 283 overall polls which is nice so i'm liking the way these packs are looking they were honestly not that good to me the other night when i opened them up but right now they're looking worth it especially considering how cheap you can get coins for and we got a 79 jerry stackhouse right there so he should sell for a little bit extra as well like i said we're usually going to be making coins back whenever we pull like a 77 plus because those go for a decent amount right now, especially with the imbalance in the auction house. So, it's pretty tough. I would say, if you want to choose a pack to open right now, I would go for the triple-double packs because they are definitely looking nice. I don't know if EA changed the pack odds for those or if I just didn't have good pack luck with them the other night. I literally didn't pull a single Elite out of them the other night and I only pulled them out of the playstyle packs. And now the rolls almost seem to be reversed. So it might just be my lucky day. I actually have pack luck for once. But we got a few hundred K left. I believe about 250K left before the end of the triple double packs. They may have dried up a little bit. Although we do get another 78 right there. Not bad at all. And we're going to keep going. Hope you guys are still enjoying the NBA Live Mobile content. Make sure you drop a like down below if you are. I'm going to try to keep putting it out for you guys. Honestly, it helps whenever I think of new series ideas because it makes it... I don't... It makes it so... Oh my gosh! We get another 82 Nick Batum and that actually falls into the category of 82 to 83. So that is 10 points for the triple double packs. Looking nice. But like I was saying, when I do have a series, it makes it easier for me to put out content because I don't have to think of a new idea every single time that I'm making a video. So that's why I like things like balling on the budget, things like making a tournament out of these packs. Hopefully it makes it easier for you guys to follow along too. So we are almost at the end. I believe to keep it even, we need to open up two more triple double packs. It won't be at the exact right place, but... Eh, what? Oh my gosh, we get another one. Jeff Teague, triple double packs, running away with it right now at 11 points, whereas the balanced playstyle packs only had one elite player in the entire pack opening. So looking pretty good, guys. Just taking a look at all of our items real quick. We got that Nick Batum. We got Artist Gilmore. Let's see, Jeff Teague. Uh, I think the rest of the guys actually ended up going into my team. So we've got Marcus Morris, who I pulled. Also Bradley Beal and Damian Lillard. And as you can see, I've got a balanced play style coach. All these helping me out a ton. And we pulled that elite coach, I believe, Eric Spolstra. Let's see, he is way over. Nope. Different elite coach. So Eric Spolstra, what kind of boost does he give? So it doesn't give a double boost for the reward boost. So I'm going to keep Brad Stevens in there, but still a nice coach pull. Hopefully we can sell him for a decent amount. But that does mean the winner of our first round of our pack battles, more like our pack tournament, is going to be the triple double pack. So they'll be moving on to the next round. Drop a like down below if you guys want to see the next episode. And hit the subscribe button if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.